Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com. All right, so in the uh, last episode, uh, you know, I gave sort of a rundown of all the materials that we're going to need to do a little book binding for the uh, home shop. And um, I said our first project would be um, a perfect bound soft cover book. And for that, we're going to need some uh, what's called book cloth. Now, book cloth is really nothing more than uh, a piece of cloth right like you see right here um, that has a thin paper uh, glued down to it now you there are a, a couple ways to do it some people actually will take some wheat paste or some PVA and they will glue their paper and then lay the cloth down on it and spread it and I've tried that uh, but what's happened is that the the glue uh, tends to um, bleed through the cloth and it just sort of ruins it so uh, another method of doing it is by using a product called Heat Bond or Heat and Bond. And you see that right here. Hopefully, I can get up here in the camera. Now, this is the light. They actually make a heavy duty, which most people recommend. Uh, this is what my Walmart had. And because I'm not using overly heavy cloth, this seems to work just fine. So, you'll want uh, to get some Heat and Bond. Okay. This is an iron on adhesive. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to get is some tissue paper. Now, this is a uh, tissue paper from the gift aisle or whatever, and it's there's 50 sheets. It was uh, I don't know four or five bucks or whatever. I, I don't remember what it was, but you know that'd do 50 pieces of uh, cloth um, for what we're going to do. I mean, look, are you really going to bind that much? You know, I, this probably lasts me a lifetime. I don't know that I'll bind that much uh, stuff. And then obviously you're going to need some cloth and Here's a couple remnants of some blue cloth that I had. And remember, I told you in the last video I had bought some like green cloth and then a print cloth. This has um, feathers on it, which I think would probably make kind of a, a nice uh, book cover. Now, um, one thing that I do want to tell you that I probably didn't mention in the uh, previous video is that... Um, you can also use paper, right? So if you have like some heavy wrapping paper uh, with a design that you like, it will work quite well. Um, a solid color paper or whatever. So you can wrap in paper. You do not have to wrap in cloth. The upside to me for wrapping in cloth or using cloth as a binding is I think it's more durable um, than just using paper. Okay. So other than uh, those uh, pieces of uh, uh, stuff that you need, you'll obviously you'll have to have a pair of scissors and an iron okay so I have this iron turned on it's on uh, maybe you can see that it's on medium high there's no water in there we don't want any water and um, so the way I generally start this out is um, I will take my cloth and lay it out and I will iron it and make sure it's good and flat and I've, I've already ironed this uh, to make sure it's flat uh, the, all the wrinkles are out and that sort of thing now this is not the best cloth but you know what these are going on a couple books that uh, that I'm given to work so and these are just for uh, to read uh, some instructions on how to set some software up so you see that's all ironed out the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to cut a piece of the heat bond um, now this heat and bond, if we, I don't know if the camera pick it up, one side's rough. This is the explo exposed glue side. The other side has uh, got paper on it. We'll want to lay the glue side down. And then uh, I strongly suggest that you cut this piece of heat and bond slightly smaller than the uh, material that you're going to use. Because if you overcut it, you're just going to glue this stuff down to whatever you're ironing on top of. Here I'm using a Luan door with a, a towel, right? Um, but if you uh, get your wife's good ironing board and you get glue on it, she's probably going to beat your brains out. Well, mine would. Oh, wait a minute. My, my wife doesn't iron. So, shh, don't tell on me. Okay, so we're just going to iron this down. And I'm going to start right here in the middle. Okay? I'm going to apply fairly firm pressure. And I'm going to work my way out. Um, sort of radially right and I don't know if the camera picks it up but you'll see that the color of the paper doesn't really turn transparent but you can tell that it changes 
color a little bit. It gets a little translucent, I guess. Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. But you'll see that there's a, a real change in the uh, color of the paper. And so what I'm looking for here is that uh, for that change um, where I'm seeing the glue melted down to the cloth, you know, on my whole sheet of glue, right, my heat and bond. So I'm just going to work this iron here. And this is real time. I'm not even going to speed stuff up. I'll make you suffer through it. Okay. And you know what? I believe that is that. So now I'm going to let that cool. Well, that's quite hot to touch. I'll let that cool enough so that I can get my hands on it and peel the paper off of the off of the uh, glue. Now, while I'm waiting on that, uh, here's my piece of tissue paper. Now, when I cut it, I cut it actually slightly larger than my piece of cloth. You can see right there. Maybe it goes like this, you know, because nothing here is square. Um, slightly larger than my piece of cloth, okay? And I also ironed it down to remove most of the wrinkles, okay? So this way, when we put the iron here, we're going to, uh, melt and glue this paper, this uh, thin tissue paper, to this glue and this cloth. So, let me see if this is cool enough to remove the uh, paper. Okay. Oops. Alright, you see this paper just peels off. It's like wax paper, actually. And you see it's peeling right off of this glue. And you see the glue. Okay, there it is. That's that's that. We can throw that away. Okay, so now if you look here, you see the glue on the cloth. I guess the camera picks that up. It's sort of shiny. And we're going to lay our paper on top of this. Making sure that all of our glue is covered. Okay. Like I said, I, I slightly overcut the paper a little larger than the cloth. And again, I'm going to start right in the middle. Okay? And I'm just going to... Can you see how that looks like it's turning clear? You know, where we're pressing the glue into the paper. All right, just like that. And I'm just going to work from the middle out. Like I said, guys, this isn't rocket science. You know, there's nothing magical about this, man. This is just glue and paper. That's it. Uh, on, on a piece of cloth. Um, but we want the paper... Uh, the reason why the paper is on the cloth is to prevent glue um, from soaking through the cloth and ruining, your, ruining the job. So the paper provides a, a glue barrier. And then when we glue this cloth on... Um, we're going to use a paste, and I'm going to show you, when we get to that point, where, when it matters, um, I'm going to show you how to make wheat paste, right? Because, I mean, you could go buy some wallpaper paste, right? It's not very expensive, but hell, you probably got uh, flour in your cupboard, right? So just get a couple tablespoons of flour, and we'll make up wheat paste, and it's good to go. All right, so I'm going to... Got that pretty much all covered, and you can see that that paper is bonded to that glue. And now what I'll do is I'll take my pair of scissors when this cools to touch, right, and just trim this out. So there you have it. See there. So it stiffened it up, right? It's paper-backed cloth. That is all that book cloth is, right? So, um. I'm going to trim this out, and uh, and uh, I mean, really, that's that's it, guys. So this is the second uh, video in a series of video that I'm doing for uh, bookbinding for the home shop. The next video, um, we're going to uh, do a very, very simple, perfect binding, right? Uh, perfect binding is a, a technique that, um, for when you bind single sheets of paper into a book, okay? Um, 
So we're going to do a very simple version of that with a paperback, and there's a couple ways to do it, but uh, I think the way that I'm going to show you gives a, it gives a pretty good result um, for a book. So that will be the next video, uh, hopefully here in a couple days. So in the meantime, uh, go out and get you some material, uh, get you some a roll of heat and bond, right, and get you some tissue paper, and make you up some book cloth. There's nothing to it. It's, it's as simple as that. So if these uh, videos are helpful, um, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing, and uh, um, tell your friends, you know. Um, so other than that, have a blessed day.